Random things women obviously had no input in. I'll go first. When you put the car in park and the doors automatically unlock. I read an article in 2016 about the criticism Hillary Clinton was getting for wearing so many boxy pant suits. The reason she did that was because she had to wear a bulletproof vest underneath and the vests weren't designed for women, so really boxy suits were required to fit over them. Massage tables. Them shits should be designed like breast MRI machines with a cut-out space for the boobs to go because they are body parts and need to be accommodated, not just squished against a fucking table. There is a great book called Invisible Women and it discusses how many things from public transit to car safety features to medication doses were all designed around men. It was super eye-opening for me. One of the craziest things I learned in that book is that not only were cars safety testing not done on women-sized crash test dummies in the US until 2011, most vehicles don't have seatbelts that are designed to properly secure a pregnant woman. We had to use Arc Flash PPE occasionally, which meant that you had to wear all cotton everything. We will provide you with the appropriate underwear. Where's the bra? Deer in headlight stare. I've never seen an all cotton bra. All of mine are poly knits with metal. Ah, just, wear your underwear. There's no guidance for bras. Or worse, just don't wear a bra. Nope, not happening. Seatbelts apparently. Women are more likely to die in MVA because the safety tests used male body measurements. Speculum. They make dildos with cameras on the end for cam models to use for PPL who have a fetish for looking at cervixes. 4K definition with zoom but we're gonna keep using these medieval clamps and a fucking flashlight? Okay. Weird to say about bras, band and cup sizes. Also sizes unrelated to actual measurements for clothing in general. Seat belts. One whiff of boob and they become guillotines. Check your car manual. My Honda has the option to turn that off. Also to only unlock the driver side from the handle instead of all doors. Medication. Women are often excluded from trials, and if you're pregnant you can it. Vaginal ultrasound wands. I had a tech cunt punch me with one. She wasn't even looking as she was trying to insert it. I ended up telling her to stop and they had to make due without the ultrasound. Even if she had been gentle about it, that thing was not going inside me. All the technology in the world and they can't make a smaller device or something that's not hard stiff plastic. And honestly, most medical implements for women. Why do we have to be brutalized to get basic medical care? Vest restraints on roller coasters. If you know, you know. Airport security machines that flag you if you have a pad on. Sure, I just want to get on the flight, but let's do the enhanced pat down where you fondle me publicly and stick a finger in my waistband to check for explosives. Nearly every machine in the weight room. Read Invisible Women Data Bias in a World Designed for Men by Caroline Criado Perez. A whole book of how women have been excluded in science, architecture, social issues, you name it. When it comes to healthcare if we want a birth control implant they won't sedate us. We have to endure the pain. Shoes. High heels. Stiletto heels. The overly narrow and pointy toe boxes. The two short toe boxes. All torture devices. Restroom stall doors. Huge gap, no privacy. I'm a tall woman who could see over some doors when standing. A lot don't have purse hooks. No invention still to keep your kids from unlocking and opening the door while you're having a pee. Diagnostic criteria for heart attacks. When getting a pair of wader-type thick work trousers for a woman at work it took ages to find a pair because even the small sizes were based on a small man and dwarfed her. Same with finding certain types of safety shoe. Button down shirts without an extra cleavac securing button. Seat belts do crash test dummies have breasts. Should I hook the belt under my breast, or on my neck where it will go on its own? There are so many fancy settings you can search for office chairs by. 
the height off the ground, the height of the back, the settings, the width, the weight capacity. You can get chairs for tall people, big people, short people, anything. Fucking nobody lets you filter by the length of the arm rest, so us goddamn T-Rex ladies can push our chair in far enough to reach the keyboard. There are nursing rooms in major stores, malls, airports these days. Which is great but they clearly aren't designed by breastfeeding mothers because they have bright lights, and they blast music and ads with no control of volume available. VR headsets are built for the average male facial proportions. This is a major reason why women experience more motion sickness playing with them than men. Women cloth that stop at XL size but have XXXXL size for men. Pockets. Bit of a niche one, but saddles. Most horse riders are female, but the average English saddle is designed for the male hip due to historic design, and the pubic bone in women can really easily be pressed against the seat and gets uncomfortable pretty quick for some. The women's bathroom. Nothing about the designs, at least here in the US really suit the women that use them. The have a happy period commercials and products for menstruation. I cannot believe any woman would have signed off on this idiocy. Most tools do not fit correctly in my hand. Many gym machines cannot adjust to accommodate smaller people. Hand controllers for most gaming consoles. They are too large for people with small hands to operate comfortably. Funnily enough the Nintendo Switch, which normally has a quite small and for my hands comfortable controller, have larger alternatives on sale. I have yet to find smaller PlayStation controllers. This makes me think of the books, Invisible Women Data Bias in a World Designed for Men. And, Sex Matters How Male-Centric Medicine Endangers Women's Health and What We Can Do About It. Women's Clothes My wife is tall and she has such a hard time finding things long enough. Men's pants are measured by inseam and you can get anything from like 26 to 36 without having to go to a specialty store website so there is a good chance as a man you can get a reasonably close if not perfect fit. But for women's sizes it's just like short, regular, or tall. And tall sizes still seem to be either barely fitting or a little short for her most often. It makes her so self-conscious. Any kind of extreme sport gear never fits my chest area, and there are only two options all in the color pink. Women fall off motorcycles too why can't I have a cool cup placement like all the superhero women do? Bathrooms without bins next to the actual toilet. Geriatric pregnancy name selection. Safety gear with no room for your boobs or hips. Mammogram machine the moment I got a mammogram, I knew it could not have been designed by women. So pokey and awkward and painful. Basically you have to hug this angular, unhuggable machine as it flattens your breasts between plates and does an x-ray. Medications. They have mostly all been designed and tested for the average Caucasian male. Shower stalls with no leg shaving ledge. Dress design since remarkably few seem to have pockets. Bras for women over AC cup that only come in one design, with four plus clips and looks like a Soviet-era windsock. The dozens of fiery hoops to jump through to advocate for our own body and health. Another one massage tables. Where the fuck are my boobs supposed to go? Squishing my boobs for an hour is not relaxing. 3D glasses. In theaters I have to use the children's 3D glasses. And shopping for prescription glasses also is limitative, most models are too wide. The height of sun visors in a car. We should be able to extend a second screen down for shorter drivers. I'm 5 feet 6 inches so not even short as a woman and need this so how many more folks do? Edit I appreciate everybody who is sharing their story but also learning that we can buy sun visor extenders we should not have TO and have as much a right to the public sphere without paying the pink tax, but at least we can do this. Artificial body parts. A lot can't be used on women. That most people get the day after Thanksgiving off, instead of the day before. The people who make the holiday schedule are not the same ones doing the cooking. 